Hey beauties, it's Nita, and today we are doing a full glam get ready with me hair, makeup, lashes, the whole shebang. So if you're interested to see how I got this look, stay tuned and keep on watching. But first, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And make sure you share this with a friend who may be interested in these types of looks. All right, let's do this look. Left eye. Um, today I am using the um, Glam Galore Club Cosmetics palette. And I believe this is called their Signature Everyday Palette. But y'all, I have created so many looks with this one palette. I definitely advise you to check it out and get it. These are the colors. And yeah, so let's get started. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M505 brush. And I'm going to go into... I'm gonna go into this shade here and put that all over my crease as my transition color. When you hear somebody say a transition color, pretty much what that is, it's kind of more so a neutral, kind of flesh tone color. And it just helps um, to lay down kind of like a base so that everything else you put on blends easier, if that makes sense. So if you guys don't know, when you hear people say transition colors, that's what that means. Um, It'll be something kind of close to your skin tone. It will always be matte. You don't really want a, a shimmery transition shade. And it just helps to kind of serve as a base so that your other eyeshadows can go on easier. Um, well, not really go on easier, but it just helps. So when you put the other eyeshadows on, they'll blend out a lot easier. I hope that made sense. All right, so that's number one. Now I'm taking the Morphe. 506 brush and it's just a smaller tapered blending brush and I'm going to go into the black from this palette here and I'm going to pop that into um, like my outer V area and the crease and when I'm doing darker colors or anything I first when I first apply it I like to pat it on to get the color to kind of you know show up and be intense and then I go in and blend it out so here I'm just patting it on first and then I'm gonna go in and blend it and then when you blend that's when you use the windshield wiper motions or the circular motions to go ahead and blend the color out All right, so now that I got set on, I'm just gonna go back with the other fluffy brush and I'm not putting any extra product on it. I'm just gonna go on the outer edge of that black eyeshadow and use my windshield wiper motions to just further blend it out and make sure that they um, mesh together nicely. And I am going back to take a little bit more of the uh, of that taupey brown color. I'm just using a bit more of that to blend. And as you can see, I'm just taking my windshield wiper motions, going over the outer edge of that black to get it to blend um, out a bit more. And like I said, this time I am adding more product to the brush. So uh, I'm going to use this one in the palette here and unfortunately the shades don't have names that's why I have to like show y'all which one I'm using. So I'm going to take it on my finger and just kind of pat it underneath the brow bone and blend it out with my finger. Like a so. All right, now for the start of the show which is the eyelid, I'm going to take this beautiful copper shade here and apply it to my lid. I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush. I don't know which one this is, but just this. And I'm gonna take my Morphe setting spray just because it's here. Spray my brush a little bit. And anytime you're using a shimmer shade and you really want it to pop, you can wet your brush and it'll really, really make it pop. Um, because I was gonna use some glitter for this look, but once I did that, I was like, oh no, this is popping by itself. You don't need no glitter. 
and I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe it onto the lid. Now, because this is a metallic shade, you can swipe it. That's like the best way to apply shimmer shades or shades that have, um, you know, any kind of uh, shimmer to them is to swipe. If it was a matte shade, then you would want to pat it. Swiping with a matte shade that has no shimmer, no shine to it, it will not apply well. You have to pat matte shades, but shimmer shades, you can actually swipe it onto the lid and it helps it to show up a lot better. And y'all see how intense that is? Like, that is so popping. And then I am going to take this gold shade from the palette here. Um, it's this one here, it's like a yellow gold. And I'm gonna go over just the inner corner of the eye with that shade. And I like to take the edge of the brush here and just flick it up and kind of blend. It helps to blend this area. I like for that area to have some color and I like to just kind of flick it over into the rest of the eyeshadow, if that makes sense. And I am gonna kind of apply a little bit more. Let me wet my brush some more. I'm gonna apply a little bit more over with the copper, yeah like a soul and then I'm just gonna take my smaller fluffy brush here and just kind of go over this area just flicking and blending the two together and right in here as well all right so now we're going to apply our liner and I'm using the Mac um, gel liner you can use any liner um, that you may have you do not have to use Mac um, I really like my elf gel liner um, I'm just out of it um, and I had this one so we're using this one today We're gonna um, apply my lash, and I'm using the Miss A lashes, and this is the style M190. Look like this. I get them from a beauty supply. They are $2.99. That's it done. So let's go ahead and move on to the face. Um, I'm going to be using my all-time favorite foundation, which is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, y'all. This is airbrushed in a bottle. Fall is coming up. If you don't have this, I highly suggest you to get it. Um, this is the perfect foundation for if you are going out for a night on a town, you're going on a date night, you're taking pictures, you're doing anything where you want your face to be like airbrushed and just flawless. Like this foundation is just it, okay? Um, I personally don't think it's an everyday foundation, um, but I do think it's the foundation when you really want to do the most or when you really want that airbrush flawless finish. Um, like I said, picture, maybe date night, night out with your girls, or when you just feel like, you know, having a flawless beat, this is it. So next is a highlight and I'm going to use a combination of the Juvia's Place Concealer and I am in the shade 12, I believe. Yeah, 12. I don't highlight my chin because I just feel like I don't want my chin to be lighter than like my chest area. I just, I don't like the way that looks. So I personally don't do my chin. I had somebody ask me about that, no. Um, and then I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever HD Concealer in the shade 45 and I'm just gonna apply this literally right just at the very beginning 
because I do like that part to be just a little, little, little bit lighter. But over time, um, I guess maybe just as I become older or whatever, I do not like a super duper bright highlight. I like it to be, you know, warm and brighter, but not overly bright. Um, just my personal preference. So I've really been um, loving the way that looks. Um, I don't, I don't like to look too light in the center of my face. You know, I like to preserve the melanin. <laughs> All right, so next I'm gonna let that dry down. And yes, I use a fan to let that dry down a little bit. I got this from my good sis, Jackie Ina. <laughs> if you let the concealer dry before you go in and blend it out, then um, you get more coverage that way. And with my setting brush from Real Techniques, looks like this. And I start with my forehead and just go in and blend it out. And I typically like to blend out the forehead and nose area first and then under the eye because I feel like um, if I do the eyes first and then go to this area, then the product transfers from under my eye to here and it ends up being like too much in the in this area. If that makes any sense. Once I finish blending with this brush, I just take my foundation brush, no more product, and I just go over the edges. And it just helps, in my opinion, to make sure that everything is blended really nicely, especially around the nose area for me. That's like the area I have kind of a hard time with, so. Now we're going to contour. I'm going to use my AJ Crimson palette to contour. Um, of course, you know, I don't even think you can really just buy this palette like that. You can use whatever contour that you have. Um, Beauty Blender, take the butt of my Beauty Blender, grab some of my product and contour. I find that it's easier to contour this way though. Like this is my foolproof way of contouring to use the butt of the beauty blender because I feel like because you don't have all of those lines to blend out, it's just a lot easier to contour this way. Versus, um, I know y'all see, you know, when people make the lines on the face which is cool either way there's no right or wrong way to contour um i just find i feel like this way is just like easier especially like if you're a beginner and you're trying to contour just use the butt of the beauty blender and it won't be so much to blend out and i do kind of put a little bit along my jawline and i just take the side of the beauty blender and blend it out and I'm just pushing the contour up. You definitely don't want to push it down because it'll kind of change the shape. I just kind of roll, literally take it and roll it up. See? Boom shakalaka. And now for the nose, I take this little brush for Real Techniques. It doesn't have a, um, it is the Deluxe. Shoot. I can't read what this says, y'all. I need glasses, but <laughs> I take this brush and blend out my nose contour. So now that everything is um, done, we're going to set our face. And before I set my face, I'm just gonna go back over my under eye area to make sure that there's no creasing before I set that. 
and I'm gonna go into again my Glam Galore Club Cosmetics Translucent Powder. They also have a tinted powder for my um, brown girls. Well, you know, my deeper skin tones, or if you just don't like a translucent powder or afraid of it, you can maybe try out the tinted one. Um, I do like it for under the eye area. I'm just gonna look up and personally do not bake um, baking is when you put quite a bit under there and kind of let it sit um, I just don't like the way it looks I don't like for it to look too matte um, if you're oily you may want to bake a bit more I am oily um, but I still just don't like the way it looks when you bake um, I say just personal preference there's no right or wrong to makeup there's no right or wrong to anything you do what works for you and what you like um i just personally don't like baking i just kind of set what i need to set and go about my business so i pretty much set my highlighted areas and then i go underneath the contour because it helps to suck in the jawline a bit more next i'm going to set the remainder of my face with my mac mineralized skin finish this is deep dark now one thing i can say about this foundation honestly i do not have to set it um the uh estee lauder double wear is gets pretty matte on its own so i typically don't set it a lot i'm just gonna throw when i say a little bit of powder literally a little bit of powder on my face just to bring it all together um but i find that with that particular foundation i don't have to set a lot um, so I'm just gonna go over and then I'm also just gonna kind of use this to make sure that I get um, the rest of that powder off of my face and then I am going to set my contour using my handy dandy black radiance um, contour palette and I mix both the contour and the sculpt shade And I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose with this same brush, or actually, no, I don't want that one. It's, too, it's a little bit too dense. I'm gonna take um, a smaller fluffy brush and go down the sides of my nose with We're almost done. I'm gonna line my waterline with the Makeup Forever Aqua Extra L, Extra L, XL liner. And this is, um, I believe it's just regular old black. All right, so now we are going to apply shadow under, underneath the bottom. And I'm just gonna go actually into my contour palette and I'm gonna take both of these shades and mix them and apply that um, underneath the eye. And then I am just going to add that gold that we use, the yellow gold that we use up here. I'm going to use that right here just to bring everything together. Pop that right in there. So I'm going to apply a bit of blush. Y'all know I love blush and I'm going to use this shade here. Y'all, I've had this palette forever and a day and I need to get some new blush because I hate that I can't tell y'all what I'm using when I use this old stuff because I don't remember where I got it from or anything like that. I'm sorry, I will do better. I'm using my Becca Topaz um, Glow Powder Highlighter, rather not glow powder. I'm just gonna smile and apply it to the apples of the cheek. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm take my finger and apply it to the nose a bit down the bridge here. And like I said, I don't think I want it on my forehead, but I am actually just gonna pop it up here too. In the brow bone. And then I'm gonna just hit the nose a bit more. 
and the lip. And I lied, I think I am gonna hit my forehead just a tiny bit. I don't wanna lie, but just a little bit, yeah. Yep. Oh, we need to set the face. Morphe Setting Spray, my absolute favorite. This is not the matte one, this is just the regular one. I love it. Okay, so for the lips, I'm gonna try out mm, two things. I'm thinking MAC Diva, which is a deep, um, like wine color. But then I also kinda like this, um, which is one of my favorite lippies. This is by Milani in the shade 15. Um, and then I thought about like mixing them together. Let's try it. Mmm, this is so pretty. Ah, I think I like it. Okay, those of you guys who don't know, I am a full-time hairstylist. <laughs> that is my day job. And um, I predominantly do extensions and I make wigs. And this is one of the newer wigs from my um, budget-friendly collection. I call it the Dora Bob. Like, that's just what it makes me feel. Not, I guess you could say Dora, but glam. Glam Dora. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm gonna use my bedhead, hardhead hairspray and apply it to the hairline so I can lay my wig down. And um, for those of you guys who are not wig wearers or don't know, um, you can use a very um, stronghold hairspray to apply your lace. Um, it's just hairspray, it is not glue. It will make your wig secure all day. And then when you take it off at night, you can just literally take it off or you may need to use a little bit of water to loosen it and then you can take the wig off and you won't hurt your edges, you won't hurt your hair because it is just hairspray, okay? Um, this is a four by four um, lace closure unit. As I'm looking in the monitor, it looks fine. Y'all, if it don't look fine, comment down below. By then, I'll be done seen it when I watch the playback, okay? So it's gonna take my flat iron and flat iron the edges, or, you know, flat iron the hair. Now, when it comes to middle parts, I like my hair to fall towards my face. I know a lot of people, you know, take it back and do the baby hairs and stuff, but I only like that with side parts. When it's middle parts, I don't know why, but I like my hair to come towards my face. I don't like it away. Um, so, I won't be doing any baby hairs and stuff. And then most of my clients are just, are not really a whole lot of hair savvy, and they like super easy stuff. So, I find that, um, I just do my best to try to make things easy for like the everyday woman who is not super hair savvy. But I will have the link down below, um, glambynita.com. I will have your link down below. And if there are any of these bobs left in stock, you are more than welcome to purchase. Or if you're in the Dallas area, you can book a consultation and come in and see what we have in stock. But, yes, honey. Y'all know I just took my braids out. I wanted something sleek and, and just cute and sleek. And I have not had a jet black bob in a long time. But, y'all, I am so happy I did it because this is so freaking cute. Yes. All right, you guys. So, this is the final look. Put on my cute little shirts that I have linked down below. I got it from Express a while ago. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But... I am obsessed with the way this look turned out. I love it, I love it, I love it. I think it is very much appropriate since fall is around the corner. And yeah, I like the way it turned out. So comment down below and let me got, let, let me know if you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys want more, get ready with me. I know this was a bit longer than my normal um, makeup tutorials, but I just want to do it as best as I can to really show you guys and teach you guys. And sometimes it's hard to do that in a short video. So let me know if you guys like these, get ready with me. I'll definitely do more. Or let me know if you prefer more of a short um, video talking about a specific um, 
you know um thing or more detailed or something like that just let me know how you guys liked it okay thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye